And we've been gathering reaction locally. One of the latest coming from Governor Tina Kotek. She thanked the president for his years of dedication and said the state and the country are better off because of his service. Our Sydney Dorner joins us now in the studio with more of that local reaction. Sydney. John, President Biden today taking the advice of several top Democrats and ending his reelection bid, while at the same time endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris moving forward. Leaders here in Oregon thanked President Biden for his time served, while also acknowledging this was a wise decision. Pacific Northwest legislators from both sides of the aisle shared their thoughts today. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden says he's all in to support Vice President Harris to go forward, building on her impressive record and defeating Donald Trump, calling Trump a convicted felon who wants to yank America backward with his checkered and erratic past of right wing extremism on women's health care, dirty energy and more. Last week, Congressman Earl Blumenauer became the first and only member of the Oregon congressional delegation to call on Biden to step aside as the nominee, saying President Joe Biden cemented his legacy in American history as the greatest president in the last 50 years, expressing he made the right decision to spend the remainder of his presidency implementing his landmark achievements rather than fighting a campaign against Donald Trump. Congresswoman Andrea Salinas agreed, saying President Biden has been a faithful public servant who has delivered on his promise to restore stability and rebuild the middle class. He has done more for working families during times of crisis than any other modern day president. Washington Senator Patty Murray writing that America owes a debt of gratitude to Biden saying he saved American democracy by beating Donald Trump and has led one of the most successful presidential administrations in history. Quote, like building our economy back up after a devastating pandemic, delivering on historic legislative triumphs and un uniting the world against dictators like Putin and restoring decency and integrity to the White House. Freshman Republican Congresswoman Lori Chavez de Reamer's office says they are concerned that President Biden is unfit to carry out the rest of his term, saying if he's unable to run for reelection, he shouldn't be making day to day decisions that impact our national security. Now, Biden leaving the race leaves the Democratic Party crunching for time to choose its nominee before a virtual roll call coming the first week of August. John, back to you. All right, Sydney, thank you. That reaction pouring in on this Sunday. The president was the presumptive nominee for months after easily winning nearly every primary election. Our Verify team confirmed despite getting the endorsement, Vice President Harris will not automatically replace Biden. Instead, all of the nearly 4,000 delegates who voted for Biden will be free to vote for whomever they want. We'll continue to follow these developments through the Democratic National Convention in August. You can get the latest updates sent to your phone by downloading our KGW News app.